When you think of a film festival, you likely think about competition. New films making their debut, ready to be judged on their merit. But in the city of Champaign, Illinois, there's a festival that takes a different approach to this concept. Each year, audiences gather at the Virginia Theater, the beautifully restored movie palace, which has brought performing arts to Champaign since 1921. 100 years later, and the downtown is still bustling with film enthusiasts, ready to enjoy the arts together on screen at Ebert Fest. Ebert Fest is a one-of-a-kind film festival founded by the late, great Roger Ebert in 1999. What makes Ebert Fest shine is that the emphasis isn't about competition. It's about celebration and the preservation of Roger's legacy. So who was the legendary Roger Ebert? In brief, Roger was a film critic. Not only was Roger the first film critic to receive the Pulitzer Prize and a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but he was also an historian, journalist, author, and lover of films. Roger rose to be the nation's most influential voice in film criticism. In 1975, Roger began co-hosting a weekly film review show with Gene Siskel. Together, they established themselves as leaders in film criticism for over two decades. To many, Siskel and Ebert were the cornerstone in imparting a love of film to new generations. Through Ebert Fest, Roger is able to continue his legacy, inspiring a love of cinema and film criticism in new audiences. Rather than premiering films for awards and buyers, Ebert Fest showcases pieces that might not have received proper recognition during their original runs. The festival's mission statement reads, the mission of Ebert Fest is to celebrate films, genres, and formats that have been overlooked by distributors, audiences, and critics. These include independent, international, and studio films that did not win wide audiences, overlooked formats such as 70 millimeter, and overlooked genres such as documentaries and musicals. Every year, the five-day festival honors 12 unique films. Past festivals have screened everything from Metropolis to Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion to Citizen Kane to Interstellar. While most festivals have overlapping showtimes to accommodate the large number of films, Ebert Fest only shows one film at a time prioritizing the communal viewing experience. Everyone watches the same film together. And just because the films at Ebert Fest aren't making their premiere, that doesn't mean that there won't be filmmakers in attendance. Acclaimed directors like Guillermo del Toro, Spike Lee, and Richard Linklater have all accompanied their films to Ebert Fest. In addition to film screenings, Ebert Fest also holds academic panels, further engaging the community and contributing to film celebration. Roger Ebert created Ebert Fest for film fans who cherish all aspects of cinema. The fact that people continue to flock to Ebert Fest every year to see films that they could simply watch at home speaks volumes to the impact of the festival and its founder. And none of it would be possible without Chaz Ebert. Roger's beloved wife, business partner, and fellow film lover, Chaz is a champion in the film and television world and an advocate for inclusion in arts and education. Chaz remains as the heart and soul of Ebert Fest, continuing its mission for over 20 years. Ebert Fest remains a shining standout in the world of film festivals because people love movies. They want to communally enjoy a classic they've seen over and over. They want to discover a hidden gem that they may have overlooked. They want to learn something new from some of the greatest minds in the industry. They want to celebrate cinema and the joy it brings them. Ebert may have made a name for himself as a movie critic, but above all, he was a movie lover. And his love for the movies lives on through Ebert Fest.